played by Tendulka. Once again, the timing is superb. Well, this is the thing that worries me when we start talking about whether this is a good one-day pitch or not, because New Zealand certainly struggled on it. So far, so good for India. Over the top he goes. Well clear of any fieldsman. And it'll stagger its way to the boundary for four more. Tendulka has got the confidence to play that shot. It's through the line of the ball. It's a good shot from Tendulka. Oh, beautifully played again. Won't get to the fence. Larson should get to it. But it'll be time for an easy three. Oh, no, he got... Larson didn't get to it. Three boundaries in the over. Well, once again, timing, you see, once you've got the ball rolling across the outfield, it's a quick outfield here at Eden Park. It's not going to stop in a hurry when you time it relatively well, and he's done that. Another good shot from Tendulka. Let's flip this away. Beautifully timed again. Four more. Well, an indication of how well he timed this is that it's only beaten Chris Pringle by about two yards. Tendulka just shuffling across and helping it on its way. Juddy J. Sorry, Tendulka. Continue the form, and away goes the ball for another four. Oh, that's a lovely shot. He's timed that superbly. It just races straight out to the boundary for four. Yeah, well, currently they're just making mincemeat of this uh, chase. He's on his pads, but he got across and just clipped it off the middle of the bats. And rather than just uh, glancing it down there, he's really hit it down there. Crashes this one, four more. Oh. This is a top shot. He stood up and hit this on the up, I think. And rather than kept two slips in because he feels he's got to get wickets, but when shots are played like this, you look at this, across and standing tall, even though he'd be a short man. treat we've seen this afternoon it really has been absolutely sensational and look at that just straight down the pitch lofting at one bounce well Bob Kunis this man is a wonderful player and we're seeing the best of him today just uh, look at this he was on his way I mean Larson must have seen him coming he had time to readjust but he kept on coming and, and just went through with a shot I can't believe how much power he's got when he hits the ball I mean he's small in stature when he hits the ball, does it stay hit? 47 from 32 balls, a strike rate of just under 147. So he's scoring about one and a half per ball, and the worm has just lost its way. Well, he's hit that over mid-wicket for four, or just over square, really. It went much squarer than that. And that's his 50 for Sachin Tendulka. And somebody's coming out into the field with a lovely uh, T-shirt delighted but 51 runs from 34 balls and there's 10 fours there and they've been wonderful shots all over the top he goes again this is high in the air and how far is that going it's up in the terraces but uh, what a tremendous shot of the look at the power that he hits the ball with that's a big hit out there peter into the the terraces down there and look at the eyes, they're pretty high, aren't they? Because that was hit very high. And when it comes down, <laughs> Gavin Larson knows exactly how far it's gone. The bat looks pretty warm, okay, doesn't it? Jimmy, come on, fella. That's Adam Perori. He's not getting many past the bat at the moment. Down it goes again over the wide line. Well, this is just magical. One bounce four. Tindoka is 61. And he's had 37 balls at 79 for one. Tindalka decides to put it down to fine leg. Oh, that's absolutely magical batship. They pulled the player up from fine leg to get him inside the circle so they could push another one out. And Tindalka obliges by putting the ball down there. Well, you know, I feel he's playing with the bowlers. He's enjoying that contest out there. He's just showing who the master is. Well, the last four was the one down there. And they pulled the fine leg up into the circle pushed the man back there because you can see that's getting a bit of a hammering too and he just obliged by putting it down there and he's going through the covers again and that's another four well where can this man hit them he can hit them everywhere well what a delight this has been Tendulka is sensational 
Well, what can you say, Petey? You've described it all. Well, where's Pringle going to bowl now? Where would you bowl, Bob? Square leg is vacant. It's four again. I know Glenn Tim has got a plane to catch, but maybe Tim Dolker has too. But Rutherford's come in to give some moral support to Pringle, but it's Pringle who's got to bowl the ball. 13 off the over already. There's one ball left in the over. Tendulkar's hit the last three for four all around the ground. Where will this go? There it goes. Straight over long on. It's not hit too well this time, so it'll bounce. And it might give Tendulkar the chance to come back for three. Oh, it doesn't. That'll be a relief for the bowler at the other end. Bangs it away through mid-wickets. Another four. Friday, the Yorker was very effective for De Morrison. He was able to produce three in a row to get that hat trick. This time he tried it again, but slightly over tossed. And today for Tim Dolka, slightly over tossed means at least four. All they can do is stand and watch. Tim Dolka has faced 43 balls for 79 runs. Tries again. Doesn't time it. He'll still get two, though. And we are witnessing Smithy, one of the great all-time one-day innings. Catch it. Pushes it back. And he's out. Well, it's a tame dismissal after a magnificent batting display. Well, the crowd, the crowd rise to one man. Whether they're Indian supporters or New Zealand supporters, they're all getting to their feet for one of the great one-day innings you will ever see.